Hi, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, this is Andrew Lau, uh, Lo Shuti, president and creator of Lo Shuti. Well, it's so good that I could uh, talk to you again today regarding cholesterol. Now, you know, you might say, wait, you know, why so important a cholesterol? Uh, reason is because lately I have contacted a lot of the uh, patient groups and different age. Mainly they are all 40 and up. And they all come back and say, hey, uh, you know, my cholesterol levels are so like high or, you know, being high. So, uh, you know, the, the thing is, um, they really do not know how, why cholesterol is so important. And many of them actually realize it is a, you know, potentially if your cholesterol is high, it's a first step, you will get di uh, pre-diabetic and eventually lead to diabetes. Now, all that is can be easily help you to prevent this situation if you take action and also uh, have it early. So that's the reason why I thought that perhaps I will create a lecture a little bit more um, understand what is bad cholesterol, why you have to make sure to put that in check, and what is HDL and so forth, uh, other cholesterol. So you have better picture how to manage that. And I appreciate Edwina, you thanks uh, for, I understand your check cannot, uh, uh, you know, was somehow doesn't work, but don't worry, you can use the question and answer. I hope you guys can see me one. If you put a one in your question and answer, that means that you can hear me. That would be okay. I would love to have uh, you to give me some response on that. And also in the Facebook people, uh, I know that a few people are in Facebook. Uh, can you also give me a, uh, a like and a one if you can Just give me some response uh, so that way I know you guys are okay to see me and hear me too. And cholesterol is a very important subject. A lot of people felt that it is important to really, uh, you know, learn how to better the cholesterol itself. And 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 I think um, in the population in Hong Kong, Ooh. USA, and many Southeast Asian countries, surprising cholesterol it is an issue. Many of them, Ooh. either the diet and so forth. So no problem. We would love to actually get to share the information for everybody so everybody get a better understanding. Hi, guys, I'm Tong Yao. I'm Andrew Lau, Lo Su Ti President. I hope a creator Lo Su Ti. Ah, um, actually, now we all have a lot of viewers. Ah, so funny, ask me. Ah, Andrew, why are you asking me this? Ah, actually, these are four hundred and sixty plus years old viewers. Ah, so they say, "Wow, you know, actually, these are four hundred and sixty." 大問題嘅，因為佢好多時咧，佢係用咗膽固醇嗰陣時，先知道自己係開始已經有前期患病。如果佢乜嘢都唔做嘅時候咧，就好快脆咧有好大問題，即係跟跟住落好多問題出現。咁所以個我覺得咧，真係要嘥啲時間，大家去了解乜嘢叫做膽固醇嘅問題啊，同埋點解有啲唔好嘅膽固醇，好似 L D L 啊。咁你多啲入腦之後咧，咁你之後咧你就開始更加容易俾你去。啊誒，即係控啊，揀擇啲食物去控制你嘅膽固醇。咁其實做咗之後咧，哇！你好多嘢咯喎，你對心臟好啦，唔會有 stroke 啦 ，blood pressure 一樣都好嘅。咁我會今日咧會講好多依個度咧。Well, today you know we have a lot of people from all over the world. People from、uh, Hawaii, USA, uh, Vancouver, uh, Hong Kong, certainly, <coughs> and a lot of South Asian country. So what I will do is I will spend a little bit time just to catch up five ten minutes or so, so you get a little bit more understanding、uh, what is the、uh, issue of cholesterol, <clears throat> and so that way you know,、um, you know. So、uh, what is the issue of、uh, pre-diabetic diabetes? So I'm going to share my screen now, <clears throat> so that way you can able to、uh, understand what we're talking about, and we'll go from there. Just be patient a bit. I switch my slide in. Okay, good. I think you can get all my picture now. So today our topic is the effective of diet on bad cholesterol. Well, how diet can help you to、uh, to really get you your cholesterol issues up if you're not controlling properly in diet, especially, you know,、uh, some of the uh, uh, folks that I'm talking to, they love to eat their, <coughs>、um, you know, very fatty food. 
uh, McDonald's sometimes, uh, fish burger. Wow, those are not as good, actually. Fry, fry goods. So anyway, today we'll have spend some time to discuss that. I think you will uh, pick up a lot of stuff, and hopefully that will help you. 今天今天講了,當你有這些了解之後,可能你就轉移你自己的食物的習慣,因為食物是要一個斷時間之後可以做出來的。如果你做到之後,你身體一定很健康,變成將來,不會去糖尿病,或者已經糖尿病的習慣
Once it becomes diabetic, it was just going to go up to the seven uh, uh, percent, uh, percent of uh, your uh, A1C. The doctor will start giving medication. While well, still doesn't work, it continue goes up. And then your blood sugar will continue goes up. And you know what? Your body will continue to get plucked up with all uh, area and you'll damage your entire body. You once it damaged, can't go back. You cannot say, well, can I use a scrub to scrub up my plaques? Won't work. Once it damaged, it damaged. That's the reason why my job, my mission, to try to help people understand so you were able to start taking action. I hope you see you at 95 years old. You still be healthy. Andrew, I'm so good. I can help you to walk around the park and enjoy our beautiful environment. I want you to do that. I would love to see you become live 95 with good health. Uh 那你的血糖再加上你的LDL胆固醇血糖就很结 咁你話呢,你如果心臟會改到呢,你糖一個上升啦,咁你啲糖呢,全世界醫生都measure一樣嘢,就係measure依個叫做糖化血蛋白嘅指數,依個指數呢叫做hemoglobin,HC,HbA
and will come down and so also detox. So this is a really wonderful product. It's not a drug, it's just tea to drink. And once you drink it and really uh, put a habit of drink it, you are um, for sure, your blood sugar will continue to go down, your cholesterol will continue to go down. And on top of that, your blood pressure also will come down and plus detox. So this is really uh, what you wanna do to keep yourself healthy. Even though you are not diabetes or pre-diabetic, only have some cholesterol or even a healthy person, can I drink? Absolutely yes, because many people, now we've been working with thousands of people, a lot of them don't have any problem. They have only about 40 something years old and they just enjoy drinking it. You know what? Their blood sugar became very normal, normal level, your cholesterol become level. So they just drink it to maintain better health. So do that to help yourself to be healthy. Dingquistro 很多人其实要知道去糖茶或一个药是一个健康食品饮品的一个食品 呃,这个胆固醇高,或者血压高,这些全部是降低到的 很多时候他就是忽然间,我的胆固醇高了,去到130度,在美国那些,然后有些人就是香港那些去到30度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去到130度,去
Now, a lot of things you may have heard is, I heard that before, but do you remember everything? So I try to give you a lot more information. So kind of give you a different angle to look at. So you will always remember, understand what's going on. Hopefully that will improve to understand how to manage your health. And our program is free. Now, go ahead and out. Uh 我們的醫生說了是我們護士醫生說了每個星期都有 Gong so today, we're happy to understand the impact of uh, how impact uh, with bad cholesterol and what is the reason. So this is really important to better understand because actually it's not hard to do. It's just matter of understand it that you know what a step and strategy to do that. And so that's what we're going to do today. Now, come I was hey, Mona, you're going to go back to my phone file. Actually, really at the end of the day, diet can affect your bad cholesterol. Now, first of all, if you have a lot of bad cholesterol, the high LDL, that is not good because that will hurt your heart. The worst thing is your heart because you get heart attack, stroke, uh, and leading to various serious disease. Eventually, you may even die. That is all from, L can be caused from the LDL bad cholesterol. Now, as mentioned earlier, LDL bad cholesterol goes up, also damage what? Your B cells, so that result, your blood, and the LDL cholesterol, uh, blood sugar, LDL cholesterol become plenty, and the blood become clotting with all the plaques, and that result from everywhere. So really, bad cholesterol is not good for you, and you got to, especially LDL cholesterol. When we talk about bad cholesterol, we talk about LDL cholesterol. That you have to actually control. Now, in order for you to do that, you have to do several things. One. You have to talk about, you know, how do you prevent it? How do you uh, help you to uh, control your high LDL cholesterol so you don't go with all the health risks? So you have to have a better understanding how to prevent it. In order to do that, you also need to have personal control. In other words, you have to do your diet of cholesterol. You have to take control of your health, well-being, maybe even exercise. And you know, says that you have to look at the type of food you want to eat. All these are your own control. You can do it because that is something that as long as once you understand, you were able to do it. Now, secondly, is the blood glucose control. Now, if you can in your diet uh, manage your cholesterol, you net result your blood sugar usually will go better. Also, it's not going to go up but rather than going down because now you control your blood sugar on diet intake, like low carb diet, low fat diet. So your blood sugar will also be better because of the fact that now you're taking control. Now, certainly if you are really going up and whatever you do, the cholesterol don't go down, 
then you have to take medication. And a lot of people don't like to do medication, but if you don't take medication, your blood cholesterol continue goes up, then medication is the essential part for you to actually uh, need to take to help you to prevent that chronic disease. Because cholesterol, once it goes up, continue goes up, you don't take medication, you don't take diet, will just continue goes up into a very dangerous level. And you might have no sign and symptom at all. You might, you know, basically I feel okay. But don't forget, a few years later, you might have a problem of, uh, you know, bad cholesterol and might pluck up your heart. And I already have patients come over and see me. The cholesterol is very bad. And I asked them, I said, do you see a cardiologist? And they said, no. Uh, <clears throat> the doctor just told me that, oh, you know, you have bad cholesterol. And so I thought, well, you really need to start seeing a cardiologist also, and which they did. And they start <clears throat> realize the heart is blocked already, you know, 80, 90%, uh, some of the coronary arteries, which they really start now handling it. And it is going to be tough because at the end of the day, they have to have, you know, the angioplasty, you've got a balloon, a stent in there. Wow, it will be terrible, right? So let's not that good to get that to this stage. Let's go work on it to really and help you make sure you lower your cholesterol and make sure you're in good shape, okay? Now go ahead, talk out. Okay, so, excuse me. Cholesterol, that I hope I knew it. Um, the other, uh, may I go why a damn Why you go? You want to go to why a damn wizard? I do I go LDL damn wizard. Now, do you you for they go, uh, why a damn wizard? Come, Kisser, they know you see the why a damn wizard in for they walk. I got you for sing, uh, knowledge still, uh, still did you laugh? 那麼就是什麼叫做壞的膽固醇和壞的膽固醇呢那我也要有一個測試告訴你為什麼我有一個壞的膽固醇呢那我們來如何控制這些膽固醇呢美國內庫控制呢自己的健康吃什麼好呢
。咁如果你唔 take care 佢咧，佢就會有機會你心臟病同中風啦。咁但係其實膽固醇係咪咁咁差嘅咧？咁 OK。So typically, there's really two major names of cholesterol that you need to remember. The first one is HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol. And then you have the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. So basically, this is the common knowledge of cholesterol. And really, at the end of the day, cholesterol is really the fat molecule, if you will. And it promotes hormones, vitamin D, bile acid. And also the cholesterol actually come up through the arteries. Uh, and then if you don't take care of a lot of the HD, LDL cholesterol, actually at the end of the day, you will form plaques. But LDL cholesterol, actually at the cholesterol at the end is important because it, at the end it will convert, <coughs> a lot of them will convert back to energy to help you and uh, give you fuels, okay? So all of that is important. So cholesterol, the key to cholesterol, you have to remember, It's HDL and LDL, okay? 嗱，膽固醇咧，其實重要嗰兩個名稱咧，第一個壞嘅膽固醇梗係 LDL 啦，嗱好嘅膽固醇咧就叫 HDL。咁當然啦 ，HDL 咧同 LDL 有咩唔同咧？嗱，其實膽固醇咧喺體內咧係要做好多嘢嘅。第一咧係幫幫你產生 energy 啦，同埋幾多維他命 D 啊、膽汁啊，全部喺膽固醇出嚟嘅。咁同埋咧，仲有咧。係雖然啦 ，LDL 就正仔啦，因為佢幫助做咗好多 plaque 咧，就變咗你啊塞你心臟啊、腦啊嗰啲地方啦。咁所以變咗嚟講咧，但係整體膽固醇咧，如果你 LDL 係低嘅 ，HDL 高嘅，其實對你有幫助嘅。嗱，依度咧有張 slide 啦，或者你可能夠影一張相啦。咁呢個相係重要嘅，個原因就可能夠睇到咧，誒、呃、誒、呃、LDL。Cholesterol, okay. Sorry, I got some allergy today. Uh, anyway, uh, total cholesterol. Okay, <clears throat> most important, you gotta remember the LDL cholesterol. If your optimum is supposed to be 130 milligram per deal at uh 3.36 mo <laughs> per liter. But my jury doctor basically make it easy for you. They just say you should go under 3.0 minimal per liter. And your min uh, uh and your milligram per deal should be about one twenty or so. So usually people now try to focus this number somewhere about one twenty and under three point zero or even two point five if you can. So keep that in mind. And your HDL cholesterol should be greater than sixty, and minimal as uh per liter is about one point five. One point five five. So this is important number that you gotta have. <clears throat> um, usually, that is the key. But as long as you have over uh one, people are a little happier. But you got over one point five five. That's the number. Mm -hmm. So if you have a chance, you can take a picture of this number. So uh, eventually you can able to understand what is the target you want to do. Now, if your LDLs are already 130 and above or 3.36 above, most likely the doctor will basically <clears throat> require you start taking some medication, which is something that you may have to do. And on top of that, what the doctor will probably always ask you is say, hey, can you check up your LDL cholesterol? So maybe cut down your diet and exercise, LDL cholesterol goes up. And so that is the common practice the doctor do. <clears throat> so really at the end of the day, if your risk is high, is when your LDL cholesterol is high, your HDL cholesterol is low, <clears throat> and you do have a risk 
to develop heart disease, diabetes, uh, all kind of risks are uh, uh, forming plaque throughout the artery. So this is something that most uh, patients will experience. 各位同學好重要呢 那如果是美國的女孩,大概是1.120左右 所以希望都繼續在這件事情<咳> Sorry about that. I have a little bit allergy today. So uh, today weather is a little bit wet and cold. So high cholesterol in people with diabetes. Why that is important? Now, remember what happened is when you have LDL cholesterol go up and then your blood and it will start damaging your B cells. Remember? And your damaged B cell is so that more importantly, the B cells damage no longer take the sugar into the cells. So your cholesterol could go up. Your blood sugar will also continue to go up because no B cell take the sugar into the cell. So when that two mix together, your uh, cholesterol and your blood sugar, now you're going to have a very thick blood, as we mentioned. And that will also further increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes because your diabetic continue go up. Uh, the reason we continue go up because now your your insulin doesn't work. It had high insulin resistance, no longer takes sugar to cell. So with that, your cholesterol will be interfere your glucose control, meaning because you no longer get the sugar into the cells and make it more difficult if you have diabetes, you can't manage. That's why low sugar tea become very helpful because low sugar help you increase the sensitivity of the insulin, so take the sugar back to the cells and also dump excess sugars out through urine, cholesterol out through urine, and also salt. So that result, your blood pr pressure also comes down. So high cholesterol is not good for, definitely is not good for diabetic people. Now, Jack 那些塊塊就塞到心臟那他的血糖就帶回去細胞裡面這件事是幫助你的血糖和糖尿病的控制
。但係如果冇咗呢樣嘢，你控制係難好多啦，因為你個糖繼續上升，血啊依、這個。啊！膽固醇繼續上升，兩樣一齊嚟呢，咁你就越整越好弊，好多方面我 plan 入去個全身裏面。Now,、uh, high cholesterol also one more thing.、Uh, it really can continue to increase when your high cholesterol increase, as you see, it move to the next stage, be more plaque form, form. Your blood pressure is also will be. Uh, go up. So many people who have diabetes, you know what? They also have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and when you have that issue happen, you know what? The doctor will say, "Well, hey, Mr. Lau, you know your blood pressure, your 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 cholesterol going up. We're going to give you some medication." Oh, by the way, your blood pressure also got up beyond one thirty. Uh, your systolic pressure also become one thirty. Then they said, "Well, we are giving medication to also." Decrease your blood pressure. So net result, more and more medication will over, overall to give it to you. Your cost of medicine goes up. Your managing every goes up. Now, if time goes on, if you actually even become a pre-diabetic diabetes, even more medication comes in. Wow, that will be all kind of potential negative side effect with all the medication you have to take. That's the reason why if I can help you to control your di,、uh, your your cholesterol level. Not to get it to be high LDL and and forming plaques everywhere, and then you never got down to pre-diabetic. Wow! You mentioned that you will be always become healthy, and that's what I want to now catch many of the、uh, friends that we met now. Ask them to say, "Hey, your cholesterol going up. Hey, let's take care of that. Drink low sugar tea. Help them to lower the、uh, cholesterol, LDL cholesterol." And the blood pressure also come down, so they never got down to the stage of type two uh, uh, pre-diabetic. They will just continue to be healthy and continue to monitor. And you know what? Most important, they actually start changing the lifestyle. The lifestyle meaning that they start exercising, they start controlling their diet. Not only high carb diet, but low carb diet, low fat diet, lot of fiber, eat apple with skin, lot of vegetable with lettuce, and so forth. So wow, they become much better health, and they all came back and wrote to me and say, "Andrew, I felt so much better. I can walk better. I feel better." Well, I hope that we can all do that. Now, 各位朋友，其实咧，点解系高胆固醇咧系咁弊咧？对对呢个啊啊糖友系咁有啊风险咧？就系因为咧，当你系有呢个高胆固醇嘅时候，记唔记得啊？佢會係開始啊 damage 你個 B cells 啊個胰島素出嚟嘅 B cell。當個 damage 胰島素出嚟 B cell 之後咧，咁咧你嗰啲糖咧就唔會入翻去嗰個咩啊？嗰、那個血管裏邊喎，即係去個細胞裏邊喎。咁啲糖唔入去細胞裏邊咧，咁佢咧啲糖咧就喺繼血管就繼續上升啦。你啊 cholesterol 繼續上升啦，咁兩加埋血就變咁好健，好健嘅時候咧弊啦，咁佢就開始全身係咁塞啦。咁仲有一個問題喎、哦，當你塞塞下嘅時候，血壓會上升嘅喎，血壓上升嘅時候，咁你膽固醇上升，醫生就會咩啊？加藥俾你食，或者俾藥你食。嗱，兩樣多食藥啦。咁而家 eventually 咧，你變咗糖尿病咧，就更加多藥。所以其實咧，我哋希望咧，都係喺依樣嘢裏邊咧，全部俾你控制到你膽固醇，都未到前期話咩，我都俾你能夠喺個膽固醇嗰度開始降低先。你血壓亦都會降低，或者冇咗高血壓咁嘅風險。咁你其實都去唔到前期患病，亦都去唔到糖尿病啦。咁你身體更加健康。其實好多朋友咧，現在咧飲咗去糖茶之後，亦都同我翻翻嚟話俾你聽，啊 ，Andrew 好高血壓，因為你個茶咧係幫助我咧係降低我膽固醇，降低咗我嘅啊血壓。咁我其實咧現在而家醫生話：，喂，你個前期患病都幾好喎、啊，即係唔係喺高上去啦。其實佢去到即係話五點幾啊，五點七以上、五八啊、五點九啦，就會夠六點幾嘅。咁呢個咧，其實一個生活習慣係到改變咧，係一個好大改變嚟嘅。因為改變咗之後咧，佢知道咧，依家係食多好 fiber 啦，即係誒纖維嘅食物啦，唔係食嗰紅肉啦，唔係食嗰啊鹽高啊食多高鹽嘅東西啦，食嗰啲嘢全部都唔係煎炸嘢多啦。我好中意食，但係好嘢食，但係唔使食好多嘢啊，令到你。糖高啊，你個膽固醇高啊，哇幾正啊！
，我希望你就做呢样嘢，能够令佢继续身体健康。So, uh, we now talk a little bit more about well, how the food really affect your bad cholesterol, and what type of food you should select. As I mentioned, you can actually select a lot of good food and very delicious. And also, some of the misunderstanding what is cholesterol. And a lot of people just thought, oh, wow, cholesterol will be bad for me. Well, not really. If you get more HDL cholesterol, actually it's better for you. So that result, what we're trying to do is give you a little better picture of what is cholesterol is all about. And then so that way you can able to help yourself become a much, much better, uh, you know, manage yourself uh, on cholesterol issues. Okay, uh, so we have a very long time. 食乜嘢好啦，帮助你降低你坏嘅胆固醇啦，同埋食咗佢有有边嘢系能够诶、呃、会对佢你个胆固醇影响咧？坏胆固醇咧，亦都即系降低胆固醇嘅。咁同埋咧就食咩啊？诶，纤维嘅食物啦，或者蛋白质好嘅食物啦，或者低脂肪嘅食啊，低肥嘅食物啦。咁边咧讲啦，控制到你个好嘅胆固醇嘅水平。咁同埋呢，啊、呃、有咩好嗰時呢，就好多人都以為膽固醇係唔好嘅，其實唔係 ，H D L 好嘅。咁啊點能夠增加 H D L 呢？咁今日會大大解釋。So what food can actually impact your cholesterol? First of all, when you have high saturated and trans fat products, that will affect your L D L cholesterol. So in other words, if I eat a lot of fatty meats, a oh, big fat meat with red meat, fatty red meat, and also full fat dairy product. I don't drink low, uh, uh, you know, if you don't drink like low fat milk, rather I drink full cream milk and got double cream because it tastes real good. And also many of the processed snack food like chips, cookies, all that will be increasing your bad cholesterol. Now. Unfortunately, a lot of time we don't think about it. We just buy it and do it. Now, certainly, a lot of people have habit eating. You know, I have to have my big chunky steak with a lot of fats. They are wonderful. And basically, if you don't take care of that and continue to do that, your cholesterol definitely could goes up. So basically, just try to choose. If I take meat, but not big meat, smaller piece of fat. Uh, pork, for example, I take lean pork. Chicken, I take off the chicken skin. I take white meat, but small quantity. And also, I don't take a lot of processed food. You know what? You already achieve your lower bad cholesterol level. Don't take a lot of things like go to McDonald's, eat a lot of fish burger. Wow, that would be terrible for you. Okay, so cut that because many of these products actually had all the. Ingredient help you increase your bad cholesterol, and then you got to take a lot of food with high fibers. What's that mean? Five high fiber is maybe fruits. For example, you know, take apple. I take the skin with me too with good fiber, vegetable, whole grain like a lot of lettuce, whole grain, and also、uh, any kind of bad、uh, uh, plant based、uh, food like、uh, almond nuts and so forth,、uh, avocados. All these are basically can give you healthy fat and also a lot of fruits,、uh, a lot of fibers, and then you can actually can lower your bad cholesterol but increase a good cholesterol. So really, high fiber makes big difference. On top of that, high fiber have a lot of benefit besides lower cholesterol. Also, with high fiber, it will also helping your bowel movement every day. Because your high fibers, you know, you can make your bowel movement relief so much better, and it's very delicious. The key is you just need to select it.、Uh, a lot of people just don't eat fruits or don't eat much vegetable, and、uh, very little fiber, or don't eat the grain food. So that result, they will end up with more fats in the body, and so that does not help. And so it's just a matter of choice. If you can able to、uh, get the right choice. Uh, voila! You'll be much better off with high fiber food. Low fat diet is much better to help you build a、uh, uh, good cholesterol than the bad cholesterol. 嗱，各位同朋友，好簡單嘅，其實其實真係咧，我哋係食日咧
，其實膽固醇咧係好容易影響到你身體健康啦。但係其實一個只係兩個嘢係實啦嘅啫。咁有咩咧？係譬如飽和脂肪、同反式脂肪，全部係高差嘅 c o l e s t e r LDL 嘅。咁嗰啲係咩嘢啊？譬如肥肉啦。紅肉係好肥嗰啲啦，去食個 steak 更加肥，越食越肥好啦。哇！嗰啲唔好食住，因為嗰啲食咗真係會降低啊，整高個啊，整高你嘅 LDL cholesterol 嘅。或者飲牛奶，好多人咧近時咧，好有 full cream milk 或者 double cream 添有時。咁呢啲又可以，如果降低食呢個叫 skin milk 啦，咁亦都係能夠一樣一樣降低到你個。LDL 嘅膽固醇，咁其實我到依家嚟講咧，近時真係學到話真係唔識嘢嘅時候咧，就好中意飲咩啊 ？Full cream milk 啊，話 full milk， 但係依家咧我全部飲係 low fat milk， 咁變咗嚟講身體好咗好多喎。嗱，仲有一樣嘢，好多人咧近時咧好中意食啊，港式奶茶越肥越好，係好甜又好飲啊，好多糖啊，仲有 full cream 啊，但係個問題咧。你後生嗰陣時，廿零歲都話搞掂啦。到老啲嘅時候咧，哇，四廿零歲有問題出現啦。嗰啲就係 increase 曬你啲咩啊 ？cholesterol、LDL cholesterol。咁點減咧？誒、哎，好簡單，食高纖維食物啦，蘋果要切出嚟咧，皮都食埋嘅，蔬菜啦，食沙律啦，谷類嘅食物啦，豆類嘅食物啦，咁呢啲全部咧幫助你降低個低。誒、uh, 降低你嘅 LDL cholesterol， increase 嘅高你個 HDL cholesterol 嘅。咁仲有啦，海果仁啦，食個 almond nut 啦，杏仁啦，咁同牛油果啦，依啲係全部均勻啦。好特別，我依家食沙律咧，我就擺啲果啊 almond nut 入去，好食喎！食完之後有 crunch crunch 聲嘅，哇幾正啊！依啲咧就係會幫助你，係、就是、更加令到身體健康。食嘢又好有趣味，唔係話啊咩咯，好似平淡淡冇咩好食嘅。因為有咗呢啲 nuts 嘅時候咧，你入去嚼嘅時候咧就 crock crock 聲嘅，亦都好似有個牙啊，即係呢個口感啊。所以變咗嚟講，令到你係身體更加舒服，更加好食。所以繼續食高纖維食物，就唔好食嗰啲太肥嘅 McDonald 啊、Fish Burger 啊嗰啲就真係會多啊啊啊，對呢個身體唔係咁正啦。Now, certainly, as you know,、uh, you know, fibers, protein are really good for you. Low fat is actually not good for、uh, low fat is good for you, but high fat not good for you. So any kind of plant based uh, uh, product actually will help you lower your cholesterol.、Uh, as you know, nowadays,、uh, they even plant based uh, burgers uh, that might be good, but you want to eat some meat, make sure you eat. Uh, lean meats, uh, low fat, uh, chicken without the skin. That's all better for you. <clears throat> And also, the healthy fat product will be something like nuts, almond nuts, fatty fish, like for example, salmon fish,、uh, cod fish. Those are all the、uh, food to help you to increase what LDL, no, increase HDL cholesterol, and decrease LDL.、Mm -hmm. Uh, cholesterol because what it does is offset the LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol. So importantly, you have to raise the L HDL cholesterol. HDL cholesterol has to go up, and those are the thing that you eat, like fatty fish, salmon, cod, nuts, seeds, avocados. Those are good stuff to increase your LDL cholesterol. I mean HDL cholesterol. Those are all good to increase your HDL cholesterol, and the bad cholesterol. Will go go down. LDL will go down. 嗱，其實好重要咧，就要食多啲咩啊？食多啲係植物嘅蛋白質。For example 啦，係咩嘅啊？好似 For example 啊、uh, ，我哋食多啲啊瘦嘅瘦肉啦，唔係食肥嘅瘦肉啦，唔係肥嘅肉啦，係全部食瘦嘅肉啦。同埋仲有咧，係要係有植物嘅東西更加好啦，豆腐啊嗰啲更加好啦，係咪？咁就話啦，要健康嘅脂肪咧，就最好食啲果仁啦，或者食啲誒肥嘅魚啦，好似三文魚啦、誒、呃、石斑魚啦，依啲啊全部係幫助你增高你嘅 HDL cholesterol。HDL， 所以食魚係好嘅，但係亦都抵消翻你個 LDL cholesterol。即係如果你 HDL 上升咧，你 LDL 降低嘅。所以咧，希望你繼續係選擇多啲咁嘅食物。牛奶飲咩咧？飲
有 low fat 牛奶啦，即係最好就 skim milk 啊嗰啲啦。同加一牌子咧，依家好多 skim milk 咧係好好飲嘅，但係咧就係、是、真係啊啊，即係一個係好飲嘅 skim milk 又低糖喎，哇，好正！所以依家你要繼續係選擇。所以其實我依家買嘢咧，全部都有一次咧，都係睇下我後邊嗰啲咩嚟㗎。有冇咧？咁呢個咧，如果你做到之後咧，你就會將你嘅身體更加改變，生活習慣變好好多嘅。Unfortunately, many times we are actually misunderstand. They just make all cholesterol is bad for you. Really, because at the end of the day, there are two cholesterol, which is the HDL, LDL. So the key here is use your diet to control. You basically increase your HDL cholesterol. Now, with that, you also have other things to help your HDL cholesterol because you basically you also have to exercise also to control your、uh, increase your H,、uh, HDL cholesterol. So, really, not necessary、uh, just diet alone. You have to also get your exercise. So, HDL cholesterol that's the good stuff for you. Remember, HDL is good for you. And the LDL is bad for you. 啊，各位同朋友，好多人咧就以為哇，全部蛋蛋白質都差嘅，其實唔係，有兩種啊。記住啊 ，HDL 係對你係好嘅，同埋咧係 LDL 就對你唔好嘅。咁飲食方面咧，其實唔係淨係飲食已經係控制咗 cholesterol， 其實你要 exercise 啦。咁你先能夠，仲有一樣嘢係幫到你嘅，同埋你依家如果食多啲。即係好嘅誒誒蛋白質啊、fiber 啊啲食物咧，亦都有益身體你嘅健康，亦都 increase 咗你嘅 HDL。所以 HDL 係好重要嘅 ，HDL 係對你身體好嘅。So talking all that, now I'm going to give you lots of tips on your diet, how it can impact your cholesterol levels and help you to lower. The LDL cholesterol and increase HDL cholesterol. 嗱，我哋讲咗好多啊、uh, ，understanding 咩嘢叫 HDL cholesterol 啊，咩叫 LDL cholesterol 啊。咁变咗咧，我讲我俾多啲系 tips， 能够令到你咧降低你嘅 LDL cholesterol， 系 increase 咗你嘅 HDL cholesterol. So more importantly. You gotta get rid of your trans fat and all the not healthy fat diet, okay? Which means that if you like very fatty meat,、uh, full cream,、uh, milk, dairy product, ice cream,、uh, you eat a lot of fats, processed chips, for example,、uh, and also a lot of the things that is. Uh, candy cookies, all these products you might have to be get rid of first. So change it to more low fat diet. So in other words, make sure that you have low fat meaning you know, lean meat,、uh, chicken without the skin,、uh, lean red meat if you want to, but smaller portion. Pork same thing, and、uh, also eat a lot more nuts. Avocados, all these are very good product to change around for you. Okay, and you have to increase the fiber intake. What's that mean? The fiber intake meaning you have to put a lot of fresh fruits, like for example, apple with skin, pear with skin. You eat it; it's very delicious. By the way, it's very wonderful. You can eat a lot of vegetable, lettuce, cow, and also whole grain. All these are high fiber products that will help you. Plus, you have to now change many of food is plant based protein, such as beans, such as tofu, instead of uh, uh, making、uh, animal protein. So all that will also help you to、uh, improve your HDL cholesterol. Plus, more important. Really, you have to drink low sugar tea because low sugar tea definitely help you to lower your bad cholesterol, lower your sugar, and lower your blood pressure. So the three high at least you take care of, and also plus it detox your body naturally. Isn't that great? So more important,、uh, this few step you have to think of this in your mind every time when you start buying food, eating food. 
this is the principle you're going to start changing. Now, it takes time to get used to this, you know, uh, habit. Because I know many of you might say, hey, I've been eating steak every day. And now you tell me don't eat steak, forget it. Well, yes, I know we can eat steak every day, but how about now change more, less meat, more vegetable, and more uh, nuts, and so uh, and more fruits. And so that result, you after you change that, you enjoy a whole different style. And that result, you will have a much better health as we move on, rather than continue get cholesterol high and get some new trouble in health. 嗱，嗰啲朋友，啱唔啱？好重要咧，其實咧，我哋將我哋個飽和脂肪啊，同反啊啊反式脂肪咧，要換咗一啲健康嘅食物。咩叫健康食物啊 ？For example 啦，即係如果我係食好多肥肉嘅，我改食瘦肉啦；食好多 steak 嘅，又改咗佢啦；要改食少肥嘅色啦，少 portion 啦。咁作為咧，就要食翻啲即係啊啊啊腰果啊。阿瓦卡度啊，咁呢啲咧誒，先能夠令到你降低你個膽固醇嘅。咁同埋咧，仲要咧增加好多誒好嘅誒誒有纖維嘅食物啦。For example 啦，食蔬菜啊 ，apple 食誒、呃、有時蘋果有埋皮噶。咁食曬呢啲亦都係對你十分幫助。食個 pear 類又食個有埋皮嘅，蔬菜同豆類係好好嘅。OK， 咁同埋仲有啦。如果你係介紹你嘅蛋白質全部咧係由呢、這個誒誒、呃、動物嘅方面翻嚟嘅，或者改去食食物嘅蛋白質咧，好似豆腐啊，啊、呃、或者係誒、呃、降低咗同豆類嘅東西啊，降低咗你食 depend strictly 係食啲肥肉嘅東西嚟做你嘅蛋白質。咁都話咧，最緊要每日都要飲去糖茶，因為去糖茶真係幫助你降低咗你嘅膽固醇。血糖同埋血壓做一排毒，將你糖咧係掉出嚟，或者用咗佢喺個身體裏邊，膽固醇係掉出嚟。咁邊個嚟講咧？好多人咧飲咗之後咧，哇個膽固醇降低咗，血糖降低咗，血壓又降低咗，亦都排毒，所以毒素走曬出嚟，哇幾好啊！所以其實咧飲啲血去糖茶係好重要嘅，一個環節好重要。So also another thing too is that It is important to be portioned and control your balanced diet. Now, don't overeat. Tell you because a lot of people tend to be really eat a lot of stuff or continue eating and not necessarily get a uh a, a, a they set a habit. Like for example, I have some friends from the state. They keep saying every day I have to have some meat. Without that, I I feel missing something. So what they do is they eat meat. Uh, a red meat and potatoes and so forth. Well, net result, they really because the meat has a lot of fat and they continue to love that because it's very delicious and hate many years of that, so they can't stop. But what you gotta do is start step by step. Maybe before you actually start eating total no meat, that's not what I'm saying. I say, hey, maybe how about we take quarter of a meat only. Eat no more vegetable, meaning a lot of salad with、uh, tomatoes, with、uh, some beans and some nut, nuts add on. Wow! You, now you change that, so you have a lot of better、uh, balance of the diet, not depend on all red meat. And when you take a a, a food total together with good nutrition, and also、uh, not all depend on red meat to get your uh, uh, A、protein, man, your cholesterol will be definitely better because now you have a lot more plant based and you control a balance of diet. So very important, start changing. I know you will say I, it's very difficult for me to change real fast. Yes, that's not what I say. I, I suggest you can change、uh, portionally, slowly, slowly to change, and eventually reaching your goal. A little bit、uh, red meat or make more plant based. Uh, you know, uh, protein. So that way, you can able to have enjoy food and also at the same time lower your cholesterol. 嗱，我谂咧重要点咧就系因为点去改善呢啲嘅生活习惯咧，唔好 depend 太多红肉啊嗰地方咧。咁其实食物咧系可以改变到嘅
。咁點改呢？其實慢慢嚟講都得嘅，即係話我食嘅時候第一次改就冇俾聲，依家唔食牛肉，會嘅。你慢慢食少啲，食少啲咧就會改到噶啦。咁食少啲食啲啊，改到咩？譬如豆腐啊，或者係魚啊。食多啲魚啊！依啲係一步步嚟咧。當你食多啲嘅時候咧，亦都你有個 balance diet 啦，食多啲蔬菜啦，多啲沙律啦，哇，好快脆咧，你就改曬噶咯喎。咁呢樣嘢咧改之後咧，你個身體咧就一定會好健康，同埋咧會會令到成日都哇，我一定要食嗰個肉，或者一定要食好多依啲個肥嘢，我先開心嘅。依、这個如果解釋咗之後咧，你開始習慣習慣，慢慢習習慣咧，你就開始有一個好 balance 好嘅啊啊，真係嘅。Okay, now food need to avoid are the one that is actually a lot of fat. Now a lot of time you might say, "Hey, I need to get to understand it more." It's very simple. All you gotta do is in Google check out what is the high uh, uh fat diet, what is low fat diet, what is a low cholesterol diet. They can give you a lot of good stuff to understand, and you can actually. You know, look at it, and you can very easy to say, "Wow, that's me. I need to eat a lot of fruits, like apple, pears, with skin, vegetable, like lettuce, cows, all these high uh, fiber uh, type of uh, lettuce every day, whole grain, nuts, uh, seeds, uh, also fatty fish, like for example, uh, uh, salmon, a cod, okay." And when we cook, we use olive oil. No longer use very high fat oils anymore. So olive oil would be a good suggestion. And I would now avoid like fatty meats, like basically red meat, a thick red meat with a lot of fat. Hey, I no longer have that. Also, full fat dairy products, like for example, full cream milk or just whole milk. I can now drink what、uh, skim milk. Okay. And I will cut out my uh, uh, processed snack, snack food like chips, as well as fat chips. And now I don't eat a lot of the cookies with saturated fat and trans fat. All that if you can avoid, you know what? Your cholesterol definitely comes down because diet and plus at that time I will do some exercise. All that will help you to increase your high HDL cholesterol, low LDL cholesterol. 嗱，食物方面咧，要注重咧係點改咧？其實好簡單，有水果啦、蔬菜啊、谷類嘅食物啊、啊 nuts 啊、種子啊，同埋啲肥嘅魚啊，依啲全部咧係幫助你咧係降低嘅 LDL cholesterol， 係 increase HDL 嘅。咁當然啦，如果肥肉啊、啊牛排好肥嘅牛排啊，同埋全脂肪嘅奶類嘅東西啊，同埋咧仲有即係、就是、你中意食好多啊啊啊 chips 啊。蝦片啊、薯片啊，哇！依啲如果降低咧，誒、呃，你就一定會係能夠幫助你食物咧，係能夠降低咗 cholesterol 嘅。咁依個係一個好重要嘅 tips 嚟嘅。嗱，好重要，一定要飲去糖茶。點解去糖茶好重要咧？因為去糖茶係個，真係一個 natural 嘅 product。Okay， so very important to really drink low sugar tea because low sugar tea is a truly better， a truly， 啊啊 whole。A、uh, natural product, a、uh, really benefit to help you to lower your cholesterol, lower your sugar, and lower your salt. That result, you will also lower your blood pressure. So your three high, ah,、uh, definitely help you to bring it down, and ah,、uh, your、uh, bring it down to three high of cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. And what it does is because of the fact that guava leaf blocks sugar going to your、uh, gut vessels. And that the bitter melon takes sugar into the、uh, increase the uh, uh, insulin sensitivity, so they take more sugar itself. The excess sugar, cholesterol, salt, and dump it off、uh, through your urine, and that result, your blood pressure has come down. Plus, they give you a detox all the time, and you really don't need to say I have to be sick to drink. No, normal person can drink because that will help you to back and continue to be very good naturally to help you to. Improve your health, manage your health. Plus, at the same time, every night now I drink little shooty. At the same time, I eat my fruit, eat my apple. Wow, so wonderful! And you can also help you to enjoy、uh, throughout the dinner. You're drinking it instead of drinking water. Now I drink little shooty to continue to、uh, lubricate my、uh, gut, so sugar doesn't go inside to my uh, uh, blood vessels and continue to dump. The excess cholesterol 
out through urine. So that results are overall health are so much better. So those are really best benefit of Lushu tea. 咁虛頭就係乜好處咧？因為佢能夠降低血糖啦、膽固醇啦，同埋血壓啦，因為佢抌咗鹽出嚟嘅。咁其實呢個係一百個 percent 天然 product， 所以變咗嚟講，你可以繼續飲。食飯嗰陣時飲啊，哇，好鬼正！因為能夠係一個好舒服嘅飲品啦。食完飯又可以食蘋果一齊嗰陣時，我買食蘋果或者食梨啊，都係飲香浪茶嘅。咁好舒服嗰個好特別，哇！因為你唔係飲水咁簡單，係一個好舒服嘅。But they go, they can go sometimes, you know. So, low shooting can definitely help you in a sense to lower your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, and lower your blood sugar. Now, this is really a wonderful product that continue to lower, uh, you know, your three high. And really, in, you, in order for you to do that, you have to have this continue to get a habit, basically, to drink low shooting. Low fat, low carb diet, and net result, you can be overall improvement with lower your cholesterol, lower your blood sugar, lower your blood pressure, and net result, if you can lower just the cholesterol, high blood pressure, the chances of you become and your blood sugar, the chances you become a pre-diabetic is so so much decreased, and you will continue. Because you are not increasing your blood sugar, so you will be basically not moving to the diabetic stage and end up with many diabetic complications. So hopefully, with that, we、we'll、give you enough knowledge to motivate you to become a person, continue to manage a better manage your health. I hope that we can do that. I think you, I'm sure, you can do that. And let's work together to make this happen. 嗱，各位朋友，好重要咧，就係飲虛浪茶啦。講好多次咧，就飲虛浪茶，即係幫助你講解解決你身體誒嘅誒誒，即係風險嘅嘅健康負健康風險。第一，佢降低你嘅高血壓啦，降低血糖啦，降低膽固醇啦，三高都降低咗，同埋仲有排毒。嗱，其實好重要咧，我哋希望咧，依啲咁嘅今日所講嘅講座咧。幫你了解咩嘢叫膽固醇，咩叫 HDL 膽固醇，咩叫 LDL 膽固醇。咁邊樣嚟講咧？你有個有個概念咧，咁你就開始一路係咁控制咯。食嘢方面咧，我又唔會去食好多肥嘅東西啦。我飲啊奶類又飲去低嘅誒誒誒誒嘅誒肥嘅誒即係誒 skin milk 啊咁東西。依啲咧。當你又飲虛浪茶，又控制 diet， 又控制做埋 exercise 咧，咁你其實咧就可以降低曬，你會有糖前期患病嘅風險，或者糖尿病嘅風險。好重要咧，我哋而家其實希望咧就喺上面嗰第一個第二個 stage。如果你降低咗你嘅膽固醇，又降低咗你嘅血壓，你血壓即係話要低過一百三十度，或者一早就一二百二十度。如果你係做到呢樣嘢咧，咁你 chance 去翻去呢個前期患病就好低啦，更加冇機會咧去到呢個糖尿患病者，咁啊幾好咧？咁其實咧希望你繼續係身體健康嘅。So in conclusion, really diet can affect your cholesterol, and as we discuss, the most important keep low your LDL cholesterol, and because that will be the cholesterol that will damage your heart. Get you stroke, and basically, if you have a right diet, you can control your LDL cholesterol. It's very important to manage that, and you have to improve the diet to really help you on manage your cholesterol. Now, 各位朋友，今日我讲咗啦，好重要啦。第一，我系好重要系降低嘅 LDL cholesterol。點降低啊？咁你真係當然喺食物方面咧，係一個好大嘅影響咧，係能夠降低咗 LDL cholesterol 嘅。咁我希望咧，今日講啲嘢咧，全部係能夠幫助你個瞭解咧，咩嘢叫 LDL cholesterol 啊，同埋食乜嘢可以能夠降低到啦。OK， 嗱 ，as you know， really at the end of the day， we gotta make ourselves a healthy lifestyle， healthy choice with a good balanced diet。Low saturated and trans fat and high fiber, high protein, healthy fat diet. 
meaning you eat them all. A lot of fatty fish, a lot of nuts, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetable, cut down the red meats, fatty red meat, chicken with uh, the skin, cut only eat the white uh, uh, meat chicken, and you're getting very good nutrition through plant-based diet rather than a lot of protein, everything from really the red meat diet. And really, at the end of the day, very important to have to drink no shoe tea because you can drink no shoe tea, definitely help you to lower your cholesterol, lower your salt, so lower your blood pressure. That result, you are not even going to the area of pre-diabetic. So that result will help you to prevent you from getting a pre-diabetic and getting you to be diabetes. So, wow, isn't that wonderful? Certainly, a lot of these things can be much personalized, so you can also talk to your healthcare profession, helping you how to better manage. But just the concept itself, you can already do a lot for yourself instead of getting yourself sick, and I can't get around with it, okay? So I hope you are getting to be continually healthy, Drink low shoe tea, help you to continue become, uh, you know, better manage your health. Ah, 各位朋友，各位朋友，好重要啦。其實健康膽，誒、啊，即係要健康嘅膽固醇水平咧，其實好簡單嘅。千祈唔好食好多嘅叫做 trans fat 啊，依個食物啦、啊，即係麥當勞嘅 fish burger 就麻麻地嘅。OK， 咁你一定要食翻多啲咧，係要高纖維食物啦、啊，少誒、啊、紅肉啊嗰啲啦。同埋白蛋白質咧，定係由 plant 喺食啊啊依個種植食物嘅東西攞翻嚟，嚟豆腐啊、beans 啊，即係豆啊啲東西啦。咁同埋咧，仲有好重要咧，就要有一個 balance 嘅 diet， 即係話我哋有好多，即係我我都同好多朋友一路繼續係咁嘅，好簡單嘅，一半係菜，菜係咩啊？沙律任何菜都得嘅，綠色就得噶啦。咁而咧就四分一係咩啊？我先食我嘅肉。我肉都好啦，就食咩啊？魚啦，三文魚啦，或者食呢、這個誒、呃、石斑魚啊，咩魚都得，白魚、黑紅魚乜都得，但係最魚。然後咧就四分誒、呃、四分一咧，係食我哋嘅即係 starch 啦。咁好多時我依家食紅米啊 ，red rice 或者 brown rice， 哇好正！食完之後咧，嗰啲糖上去，我都覺得 feel 好飽，又舒服。同埋咧，仲有咧，因為食啲呢啲係可以幫助你嘅舒暢大便啦。咁希望我哋做曬呢啲東西咧，誒令你繼續呢、这個誒膽固醇咧係啊係一個好嘅誒膽固醇，亦都唔會變咗係壞嘅膽固醇去咗誒前期患病啊、糖尿病咁。咁同埋仲有好多人咧就話：，哇！咁我如果係要需要誒，因為每個人嘅都唔同嘅。咁如果你嚇，亦都係同醫生啊傾下偈，或者你嘅。誒誒誒，即係喺你睇醫生嘅時候問啦，喂，咁我依家打唔順點啊？誒，問一問，知道你個最緊係底線喺邊度，同埋個 A one 線係咩嘢？依兩樣嘢係好重要嘅，知道依樣嘢。咁你當然啦，佢咧就同你度血壓噶啦。如果你高過一百三度咧，咁你其實就真係要注意去小心啦，就要做 exercise 啦，你嘅食物方面啦，係咪要食藥啦？咁希望唔好食咁多嘢啦，咁你就更加好嘅。So today I finished my webinar. I hope that you have a good understanding what is really、uh, cholesterol. I, I really appreciate you,、uh, you know, spending time with me and、uh, learn about what is cholesterol, what is LDL cholesterol, what is a bad cholesterol, how and what's a tip to help you、uh, prevent getting a lot of bad cholesterol. So we hope that that will give you a, a good outline. Remember. Add on fibers, low fat.、Uh, you gotta get exercise and、uh, cut down your snack with cookies, chips, all this stuff. And that result, your blood sugar, blood cholesterol, and also blood pressure will better, will be improved. I hope today's lecture will help you to get a better idea what we do. And if you have any question, you can feel free to write to us. Uh, either with uh, the Hawaii, uh, you can uh, write us. You can take a picture of this. By the way, you can talk,、uh, get a people. If you want to have this, uh, uh, in, uh, in sales at loshuti at dot、uh, com, which is the Hawaii uh, uh, email address,、uh, or or you can write to us in Hong Kong. This is the Hong Kong email address, and so that result, you can always. If you need to call me, 
773-273-8082. Hong Kong number is uh, 3001-5644. So do contact us if you have any questions. I would love to help you, uh, under, help you understand what we're going through. Okay, so anyway, any questions so far? I uh, uh, appreciate uh, you spending time with us. Uh, this is really good. That uh, uh, and thanks, uh, Edwina, and all the people that from all over the world uh, actually uh, you know listen to our webinar. And I appreciate uh, you know your participation. So if you have no question, or you write to us, and I hope that we'll talk to you next time. Thank you very much. Aloha. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.